Okay, so hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, it's been about a month since the last video. Uh, as I promised, I'd be making an update video, which I'm doing right now. Uh, I finished my exams last Friday. I'm glad that it's over. I've had quite a few comments of people, you know, wishing me good luck and just saying, you know, like, I hope it's over soon and obviously it is over now, so that's good. You can get back to making videos tomorrow, uh, unless you count this as a video, but this is, there's no not going to be any coding in this video. I'm just going to be mentioning, for those who care, I guess, uh, what's going to be happening from now on, now that I'm done with school forever, so there's going to be a lot more content, a lot more stuff I'm doing, a lot more to be part of. So I've made a list of things to cover. We're gonna be covering live streams, Patreon, mentoring, the website, uh, series, series that I'm currently doing and other content or series that I can start and that I might be doing. So we'll start off um, with the live stream and we'll go in order from there. So first thing, live stream. Uh, now that I'm off school, I have plenty of time to work on stuff here. But the problem is, no matter how much time I have in a day, a video is still only going to be like 20 minutes long. And obviously a lot of people, uh, or oh, by the looks of it here, nearly 30 minutes, a lot of people um, seem to like live streams. And obviously live streams, the benefit is you can uh, you can question me when I'm coding. You can ask, you know, why are you doing this? Or you could say, you know, how about you add this? Or this is a good idea. Or, you know, can you help me with this? It's, it's, the live streams are very useful for getting help. And also while I'm coding, it's useful for people um, to question me and I can perhaps learn stuff from people who know more about certain areas than I do. Um, and it's just fun. If I'm like coding a game on live stream, uh, I'm a bit more like motivated to do it because sometimes if I'm on my own, I might uh, tab out, watch YouTube and end up, you know, watching loads of videos and not making any progress. So what, doing a live stream is actually very good for that. So I can make more progress. You can learn a lot. And even if you're not there for the live stream, you can always watch the VOD afterwards. Um, I'll probably be using Twitch to stream since even though YouTube streaming is a thing and I've done it before, I think Twitch is, it's got more tools for live streaming and I think it's just a lot better for live streaming. So when I go live, I will be posting it in the server and I'll probably be do a, com a community post whenever that is so people on YouTube can get notified too. Or you can just, you know, follow me on Twitch, which will probably be the best idea if you want to be notified. Uh, so uh, I don't even know my Twitch link. It's probably like underscore dapper that for underscore dino maybe yeah okay so i'll put the link in the description below obviously i've never streamed on this channel um but go follow if you want to see the live streams i'm going to be live streaming most days not every day um i'll be more into the routine after about a few weeks probably because obviously it's it's not normal for me to be like working every day and doing all this kind of stuff i need to get into the routine i need to uh sort out taxes i need to um, work with Mickey, you'll know Mickey if you're part of the server, we need to do more development on our website and get everything up and running. So over time, I'll develop a schedule and a, a, you know, a live streaming uh, schedule I'll put on the server or on the website or whatever. But for now, it's going to be a bit here and there. So one day I might do a stream for like six hours, the next day there might be no stream. So just follow if you want to, stay up to date on that. Um, you know, just check the YouTube, check the server, it's all good. If you miss stuff, doesn't matter, because you'll be able to check it on the clips afterwards anyway. And sometimes if I learn anything useful or cover anything useful in the live stream, I could make a separate video out of that, like a proper in-depth tutorial. So that's good. Um, one other thing about that is my GitHub. So, uh, oh, not Bracky's uh, thing. <laughs> this is mine. So uh, now anything that I work on that isn't secretive, really, I guess, I'm going to be putting on my GitHub. Now, if you don't know what GitHub is, most of you probably will. It's a place to share code. You can put code on here. Uh, you can use command prompt or I've got um, software called source tree. And essentially when you've made some progress on your project, you can press a button to commit and push your changes and it gets updated on here. So as I'm working on my own games or just random projects, like when I've been in my own time learning different things like Xamarin C Sharp for mobile, some videos. Whenever I do videos from now on, the code is going to go on here. So don't bother asking me for really old code because I've probably deleted the projects to make space. But any new projects I'm going to be putting on here. So my last video, I think it was, yeah, my last video is on here. You can watch that. And then if I ever make any changes in my own time to improve stuff or people point out any bugs, I can update it on here. If you star or like follow or something, 
you will get notified when I update the repository so you can, you know, get the newest version. So it's very useful. This is all free, by the way, you can, you know, access for f access this for free. And I recommend you guys, if you don't use GitHub already for your own projects, it's really good because what you might do is you might add some new content to your game and then think, scrap that and you want to delete it. But then the problem is when you delete it, you might get loads of errors and stuff might break. So it's very easy to go back to an old version because every time you update, you can restore back that version. So it's very useful. Um, one thing about this though is, for example, in my own project, I have certain add-ons for Unity. I have uh, Odin Inspector, which is a paid add-on where you um, get access to certain tools in the inspector. It's, it's just an add-on to make your life easier. The problem is I'll have code that isn't compatible. So if you just download this project, it won't work. So the whole point in this really is just for you to go into the scripts and just look through the code really. You can you know, look at the code and just read it and try and learn from it it's probably no good trying to download the actual project because you'll have missing files. I've commented all my code and I'm going to start doing that as well so you guys can understand what's going on. I want to keep it beginner friendly as well as, you know, interesting for the more advanced people. So feel free to go look through my projects. I'll put that link down below as well or you can just go search Dapper Dino on here and you'll find it. Uh, so there's that. So I've mentioned the GitHub, the Twitch, go follow, uh, Patreon, next thing. So uh, these Patreon tiers are out of date. Um, don't trust those I guess I'm gonna change those in the next day like tomorrow I'm or the day after maybe in the next few days anyway they're gonna change so currently they were to be like you know if you pay a bit more then you know the shout out stuff that's all gonna stay the same but then I put about helping people one-to-one um, -one. the problem is when I started my patreon I was like really small and I never thought it'd even get this far so the problem is now if I offer like one-to-one -one help like that through patreon uh, the problem is there's so many people it won't be practical to do. So the way we're going to combat that is if you want like one-to-one -one help, like voice one-to-one -one help, we're going to be doing a mentoring service for our website. Now that's not ready yet, but it will be within the next few weeks or months. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that and so on. Just, you know, stay in the Discord server, you'll hear about it. Uh, where people can pay to have, you know, one or two hour sessions of help with me in like a Discord call or Mickey for stuff that he's more of an expert. He's more into website development, backend website stuff, or just anything to do with website stuff really he's better at. Um, obviously I do the more uh, game development end stuff. So if you're here for game development, it's probably better to, well, you'll probably end up getting me or eventually we might hire more people that have expertise as well. So we can build up a mentoring team. Um, and the mentoring won't consist just of mentoring for an hour or two. We'll also make uh, not homework, but you know, like challenges to do outside of it. So you have something to do and bring back to us the next time you get mentored. So that's uh, something we plan on implementing soon-ish. So keep uh, your ears open for that. I'm probably gonna rewrite these. The Patreon now, because the code's publicly available, I don't need those tiers. So Patreon now has moved more from, you know, hey, I need some money. It's to more like now donating is just out of, you know, you wanting to donate. I'm gonna, you know, make everything publicly available anyway. So this is just to help me out financially. So, you know, that's there as always, but you don't need to like do that to get code anymore. I feel like it's fairer, I guess, for people to just have access to it anyway. So if you do feel like helping out, then, you know, there's always that. There's also the YouTube membership. I don't know if anyone even does this anyway. I, I don't know anyone that does, but it's there if you want to. Um, so the next thing is, yeah, about the live stream, the vote, uh, yeah, roguelike's clearly won. So I'm gonna do roguelike and um, I could do idle click or tower defense next time. I might, when I do the next vote, I might put these back in, you know, see if people want those more than the other options. Uh, feel free to give other options for me to add to my next ones, but we're gonna make a roguelike. So you'll hear more about this if you watch the live stream when I actually start making it. But the roguelike is gonna be, I'm gonna make it in 3D because I cannot do sprite art. So I'm gonna be using models, but I'll keep it really simple. It's gonna be top down camera. So it's essentially gonna look the same anyway. Um, and we're gonna work on stuff like the movement, then the levels, the random generation, the weapon pickups, unlocking new stuff, so on. Uh, one, my favorite uh, roguelike is either Wizard of Legend or Enter the Gungeon. So I'm gonna be basing it off those and by not basing it as in I'm not gonna make the same stuff, but th those are big inspirations. So I might make similar mechanics like uh, Obviously, one thing I like about Gungeon is just the absurd amount of guns and weird, wacky things. So one good thing about the live stream is I might run out of ideas. I'll have the knowledge of code. You guys can come along and say, make a weapon that fires off a head and then this head explodes and shoots out rainbows or something stupid. I don't know, whatever you want. Um, we can just work on it and make stuff like that. So I think it'll be pretty fun. And when I'm done with it, you guys can obviously, like, while I'm making it, download and stay up to date with the GitHub project so you can add new weapons yourself. 
you could yeah, add a new content, push it, and I could pull it into the project if I wanted to, and we could, you know, use your weapon. So it's more of a fun thing. I'm not going to publish this game. It's pub it's open for you to do whatever you want with the project. It's a learning process uh, and just to have fun, really, making games. That's the whole point. So I hope you guys uh, stick around for that. I know some of you will like that. I hope a lot of you will. There's the Twitch link as well if you want to go watch the development of that. Um, what else have I got on my list? Mentoring, I've briefly mentioned, but there'll be more on that later. Uh, the website, so... Here's the website, it's under development really. You can go on it and some of it's useful. Uh, more useful for me and the other developers because we've got admin accounts, we can do more stuff. Um, we need to, we're currently getting the website redesigned because this is just template stuff. So, you know, whatever. Uh, hosting, whatever, if you need to host your Discord bots. Um, about Discord bots, people keep asking me to add new Discord bots tutorials, but we've had uh, problems with this, which is like, Anything that people seem to ask me about Discord bots is not to do with Discord bots. It's either generic coding things or how to use YouTube's API, which isn't actually to do with Discord bots. It's just generic questions. So, because I made my channel to be about game development, but obviously it's welcome to all coders, I recommend if you have anything about Discord that you want to do, like to add to your Discord bot, use the server and ask and make tickets, because that is what it's for. There'll be plenty of people that are happy to help you with that kind of stuff, but the server's gonna, uh, the YouTube channel is gonna be more about game development. But also, every so often, I will make from now on, like when I feel like it, I'll make random videos about just general coding things. So I might make some interesting thing about machine learning or something about websites, something about games, something about, um, you know, what it's like to do this, that, the other day in the life. People seem to like those videos. I, I can just you know, make whatever you guys want to see. Uh, if you want some beginner coding tutorials from certain languages or just looking into how to make an app, you know, how to make a phone app using C Sharp, using Java, Java not JavaScript, or you can probably do it in JavaScript. There's, there's different frameworks for like any language really to make mobile uh, apps. But anyway, that's all about the new content. Um, but about the old content, so the only series I really had going uh, while, you know, before I went for exams, was the creating characters and game abilities. So, you know, I don't see why not. I can just carry on with that, it was pretty fun. Uh, what I'll do with this project, because I've not got it on GitHub, is I will probably take the characters I've currently made and in my own time, or maybe on stream, remake them, but with the code a lot better and more reusable, and then we can build on it from there. So if you guys want to follow on, you can just download the GitHub project to wherever I'm at at that point and continue on. I'm only going to make on live stream the things I've made so far, which is, ooh, what was it? I made Genji. Tracer and Lifeline. So I'll remake those, but better, put the code on GitHub, then I'll start making the videos on the channel again when I've caught back up to that. Uh, there's three things I'm gonna be doing on live stream, which is one, the roguelike that you guys have voted on, two, making this and catching up, and then three, I'm gonna, I've been working with someone else on this game we're gonna publish eventually, which is a uh, one of those phone uh, puzzle games, puzzle adventures where you've got like, uh, finding bits where you've got to pick up items, interact, go to other rooms, like puzzle adventures. So that's a more of a simple thing than what than the roguelike to make, but I'm gonna be doing that on live stream as well. So there's just plenty of content for you to watch if you're into game development, and I hope you enjoy watching the behind the scenes. But anyway, this video, 13 minutes, I, I wanted to keep it short just as an update. So uh, I don't wanna bore you by talking for too long. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Obviously leave comments down below, whatever you wanna let me know, say hi, say, um, I wanna see this, whatever. Um, if not, I'll see you tomorrow anyway on the live stream. I don't know what time the live stream is going to start. I've ordered a new desk. I'm redoing my room to be more of an office now that I'm getting all into this. So if that desk comes before the live stream, then the live stream will be a bit delayed until I've got it set up. Uh, if it arrives during the live stream, then I'll probably cut the live stream short, set it up and restart. And I'll obviously let you guys know on the live stream that I'm doing that. And if it comes late at night, then, you know, it comes late at night and I can set it up then for the next day. So. I hope you guys stick around. Uh, I'd like to hear back from you, but yeah, I should stop dragging this on. So all the links are going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.